this evening I'm planting out some broccoli plants and because it's still late summer here in Tasmania and the white cabbage butterfly is still very active now that they are, I have watered them in well I need to actually cover them people use lots and lots of techniques against the cabbage butterfly with varying degrees of success I've seen things from eggshells to cutouts of white butterflies through to sprays that are used on the cabbages or broccoli it doesn't matter whether any of the brassica family are all uh, adversely affected by the caterpillars that will grow and eat your food but I'm a great fan of barriers I believe that barriers are probably the most reliable method to defeat pretty much any pests I use them to keep birds off trees off the fruit trees from eating the fruit I also use nets to keep the European wasps off the grapes and this works very successfully and this year I have used a crop protection net on my kale very successfully as well it has kept the white cabbage butterfly off and meant that there's no grubs there eating those plants now you may have seen a previous video where I visited my nephew's garden and he had broccoli growing very happily underneath this type of net where it had been through the summer where there was plenty of cabbage butterfly around and no problems at all underneath the net so look a net like this is an investment uh, it's not a cheap item in itself I think this particular one which you can buy in your local Bunnings costs around $30 it will net a bigger bed than I've got here it's got plenty of capacity at 4 meters by 4 meters there's a whole range of this type of netting that you can buy uh, on the internet on eBay and places like that at varying prices and sizes these types of nets if you look after them are going to last you quite a number of years and give protection and reliable protection if you're using organic methods whether it's sprays or other deterrents there's a lot of hit and miss and there's a high chance that you'll still get some damage whereas this is pretty much 99% Effective. should be a hundred if you're actually careful enough to make sure it's sealed up so to keep it in place what I use is one of my favorite items which is PVC conduit I really like this stuff because it is so cheap I can buy it for around about 80 cents a meter and it bends quite well it does tend to hang on to a bend I have bent and cut these and that's why it's got the curve on there it does hang on to a bend once it's been in place but if you're reusing them for the same bed that doesn't matter now to keep them in place you can use a number of techniques you will notice in the film I took that my nephew was using a pipe bracket on the side of his beds and that's fine if you possibly have a, a wooden bed that you can put them into a pipe bracket you could use a piece of concrete reinforcement slipped in the end but tonight I'm using what I have which is some offcuts of pipe and it's just the right size so that the conduit slips inside it this going into the ground gives it some weight and means that it's not going to pop out So once the 
metal pipe is in and the conduit slides in. This is, might look a little bit lopsided because it had a previous bend in one side and that is affecting its shape, but it won't affect how the plants grow, nor will it affect the effectiveness of this net. Once they are there, it's just a matter of throwing the net over. Now, if you were in a warmer climate, it wouldn't hurt to use shade cloth instead of this type of net, which would still give you a very effective protection against the cabbage moth or butterfly, should I say, it's actually a butterfly this one that we have, though cabbage moth does exist in some places. But it would also give some shade for your seedlings, which is probably a beneficial thing if you're growing them at this time of the year. And while they're getting established. Now because I have concrete around my bed so I'm able to simply keep this net in place with a couple of pavers. If you have different types of beds you may find you need to use a different method. You may need to use some clips or something along those lines. But this way I'm really confident and secure that my plants, particularly at this stage when they're only small and not going to get the caterpillars attacking them, it would really set them back at this stage of their growth. In a couple of months time as these start to develop bigger, we'll, the season will move on and there'll be much less likelihood of caterpillar attack and this won't be so necessary anymore particularly as they approach harvest. But hopefully that gives you some ideas as to what you can do to stop the cabbage butterfly. And I really recommend it. I think it's the best way. And I really like using the conduit. I think it's superior over polypipe, which people frequently use. Polypipe tends to be softer and, and bend sideways easier. Whereas the conduit is really cheap and nice and firm as well. So give it a go.